going on this this bridge, going out farther on this bridge of what ifs, like having an entire established colony or something on the moon, you know, it, it, via Artemis or whatever. Like we have this out there, and you have an entire archaeological lunar archaeological archaeological team out there mm. would be interesting. Just not even if they don't like. I, I want to be like, yeah, they, they just them going out there and digging mm. up stuff on the moon would be pretty neat like it's just that's a reality a, show i would watch there. yeah yeah it's also it's the you know the other the other possibility here is um kind of like the dark forest idea in in space exploration what if what if there is a spot what if this silurian hypothesis thing is true and there is a spot on the moon but it's uh, much less an ancient artemis and much more an ancient event horizon what if people have just been going there the whole time and the problem is no one's getting out <laughs> go hang out for a bit Never yeah i mean like that's the kind of news i think governments would agree to keep secret because it makes it makes them look thoroughly out of their depth you know the, uh... Uh, back to 2001 it's like it activates the signal it yes and like it puts out it's like they've made it here in in great enough numbers and mm. with they have they have showed us technological advancement to such a level that there is a signal that goes out mm. to wherever um i love this it. civilization the the world powers are like faking meetings for other reasons they're saying okay we're gonna have a nuclear summit russia china the u.s all right we're very proud of the summit they get behind closed doors and the you know they like oh put their hands over their faces one guy just flings his suitcase in desperation and they're like the fucking moon what, what is going on with the moon and it'd be really interesting if that signal's been broadcasting for years since we've made it to the moon and it's always just an update like they have this huge meeting of of all these world <laughs> leaders and they're like nothing's Still happening Still oh, beeping. God. oh god thank you oh god like they're all just like fuck it's time for the moon update like you know it's right. like everybody goes to g7 and they're all like it's time for the moon update and then the guy comes in with a bunch of paper a bunch of like whatever like you know like yeah. stacks of paper and it's like we've analyzed you know, been no, across no all updates. the radio spectrums and uh, no change they're like holy yeah. fuck <laughs> Have we decoded the signal? No, 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 sir. no, <laughs> no, no new developments. Like, God, no God new. damn it. <laughs> um, that would be amazing. Right now, of course, there is no solid proof of something like the Silurian hypothesis. These guys are just very uh, brilliant in pointing out. Uh, the, the problem with gaps in the historical record, the relatively limited <clears throat> scope of understanding that humanity has, and as long as those kind of questions are out there, I, like you guys, am, am, am fully Fox Mulder about this. Right. You know, I want to believe. Give me that UFO well, poster. And the other thing is I was thinking of is like, be, again, I would say we're the outliers, the Fox Mulders. We're the outliers. Right. So it's like, say if there was a future civilization and they they found our like nuclear Signatures. waste or whatever. Right. Yeah. Okay. Would there be scientists that could be able to explain that in a way that they're like, potentially this could be naturally occurring. What, what's happening here? What we see. And then people be like, well, that's got to be it. Right, because oh. they're. Do you know what I mean? So they're yeah. they're they're Lots. looking at the problem, and they're mm. making a solution that they would be like, well, this could that they're comfortable with it. It's easy. Yeah, this is. Yeah, yeah. this is. This doesn't mean that a, there was a weird ape race before us, lizard people, right? And they were bombing each other with nukes. This was a, some sort of natural occurrence on Earth, and they and they spell it out that way just because it makes them feel good about themselves. Well, that would have to right? be if we're, uh, if we're talking about humanity, because now we have this what, what's the what's the element it's only refined like through nuclear plutonium 244 44 it's only like, done in like some rare cosmic events like supernova and stuff or nuclear fission like right mm -hmm. so if if if, it, if we're talking about humans of, of the future like for some reason we get wiped out down to like a thousand we go back to the stone age and re restart it again in 50,000 years we come back and we get the same science we have now and we're able to dig back we find chernobyl we find these places with this element then and we could if it was us and we had the same way of thinking of the, about the periodic table and like there's only a couple ways this can form either we were way smarter at this era in time or we got hit by a supernova and that's what wiped us out before like there's there's got to be a, some signatures 
if physics is a universal constant and it's not something that we've just made up, let's say, because right now we think like oh, all these laws must be universal to our universe. There's got to be a couple that like that type of signature which would signify like we manipulated matter or yeah. supernova, like something that advanced, right? Right, assuming that that would be recognizable to the people searching. Okay. If we, yeah, if we found the same, if we followed the same line again, if we like, we got set back and then restarted in a linear line like we did before, and mm -hmm. came to this conclusion, and we dug back to Chernobyl, we found the signature, like, oh shit, maybe these motherfuckers, and they they come up with their own name. It's not called this because we we talked about it earlier, but isn't that uh, Dan? What'd you say it was like a Doctor Who reference or something? Well, yeah, the it like, is. yeah, the Silurian in Silurian hypothesis is a. <laughs> Is that they're a uh, Doctor Who uh, villain species? Uh, they are a, okay. they are a uh, anthropomorphic uh, dinosaur species that live in near the core of the Earth, uh, and they pop up uh, periodically to uh, have some. They're, um, I, I know they're an earlier villain, but I, the, the first time I saw them was I think it was the Matt Smith run. I think the Matt Smith. Uh, doctor is when they popped up uh, the hungry earth i think was the, mm. the episode um where you know humans dug too deep and uh, <laughs> you know very instead of finding a, a ball rock you find uh, dinosaur people that that show up and, uh, <laughs> live in some underground cavern yeah it, it's, it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a it's a really good episode there's a good it's a good you know all, most of doctor who's their problem makes way more sense now because i thought this is the cerulean hypothesis and i thought we we're gonna talk about pokemon right water, <laughs> how water types are superior yeah. to yeah i was like to, we're, to we're talking about misty a bit yeah. here man no that's the, that's <laughs> the thing it. too they they had uh you can tell they're having fun with it and yeah. also uh they know how to to name a paper right no they're, they're going straight for straight for some pop culture fans uh and if you if you read a lot of scientific papers you know you become very thankful for stuff like that yeah. instead of the, you know, the, like the paragraph long title and the you know the 17 authors two of whom actually wrote the paper um it just happens that way even even with them, like uh, with the Silurian hypothesis, I would have been I would have went back personally. Like I would have went back further. There is a mm -hmm. there's an H.P. Lovecraft story called The Shadow Out of Time, yeah. and it, uh, are you familiar with it? Do you know what I'm talking oh, yeah, about? Yeah, yeah, um, yeah. yeah, and I that's what popped in my head the first time they started talking about this. I was like, oh, maybe there was a race that existed at some point uh, building these cyclopean <laughs> cyclopean monoliths of mm -hmm. un ununderstandable incomprehensible size and, and geometry and uh but they were just a placeholder race for another race that projects its consciousness through space and time to <laughs> escape uh devastation <laughs> and, and, and and of well, course uh his uh they're Yithians, I think. Yeah, or the great reunion. Yeah, 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 yeah. But, <laughs> but uh, what what I have to say, I love about H.P. Lovecraft. Uh, whoop, get mm -hmm. some dishes in my background. Um, <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> uh, what what I absolutely love about Opa. H.P. Lovecraft. Opa is that uh, all a all the aliens are terrible. Mm -hmm. <laughs> There's not a good one. There's no E.T. The alien intelligence are all bad. There's no I bring you love. <laughs> I bring their own you way. love. Yeah, that guy That guy really just took xenophobia and just ran with are terrible, <laughs> you know. They will I murder think, you. I think, well, I'm not going to say. For his early works, yes. The, the, I think the, the later years, I think he recanted kind of went back on some of his stuff but did, i'm not gonna it's not justifying his earlier stuff but it's yeah it's no, a whole yeah. different discussion mm -hmm. <laughs> but i also this uh silurian hypothesis to the point of lovecraft i feel like if someone brought that up to to old boy he would say oh yeah no 100 <laughs> percent. i think it probably happened and and it was you know, and you would say, well, maybe it was a decent society. And he would go, no, mm -mm, no way. <laughs> it's very, for a guy who wrote so much about aliens, he's very anti-alien. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> just stem to stern, this guy. It's just sci-fi, okay? Maybe he knew. <laughs> maybe he knew. <laughs> maybe, maybe. He's disinfo. He Makes him it's seem really bad. He's seen some shit. <laughs> they saw some shit. He's like, the only way I could keep this secret is by... Publishing world famous stories about it. Right? Yeah. <laughs> well, we're not even famous that man. Like, I, can, no, I always yeah. tell people, like, read H.P. Lovecraft. That shit will blow your mind because it's just all the ideas and stuff in there that, that came out of that. That oh, man yeah. is insane. Like, the, the stuff that 
I don't want to say everything's derivative, but there's a lot of stuff today that is derivative of his work that it would just be like people like this. If you like this, you you'd like that. <laughs> Hey guys, thanks for watching. I know it's annoying to watch these broken up in 10 minute segments, but here's the next one over here. Or if you wanna watch the whole thing uncut and after hours, just click this link to our website and uh, give us a donation. You get full access to it on Patreon. Anyways, thanks guys, enjoy the next video.